Yep, listen, great, great win for us uh, and our program and, and for these guys here on this team, Team 108. Uh, unbelievable job across the board. Uh, we knew coming into the game, we had to do a great job on the glass. They had uh, out-rebounded uh, Central Michigan by 20, and uh, we out-rebounded them today. Um, obviously, these two guys shot the lights out uh, all night, and that's great. And um, it's, it's really great to be able to move on and play in another championship game because it's not, not easy to do. And uh, you know, now three straight years, these guys have played in this and uh, couldn't be happier for them. But we have 40 more minutes to play. We're excited about it. Question for our student athletes. Gio, you were hurt last year in the tournament. How does it feel to get back to the championship game after missing all of last year's tournament? Uh, you know, obviously I was happy, you know, last year, uh, even though I couldn't play. But, you know, it's never the same uh, when you're not playing. Uh, I'm just happy to be back and able to contribute this year, uh, knowing that this is my last year. We can't say um, just wanted to do whatever I, I can to help us win. This is a question for Gio and for Rob. What is it about this? Can you just ask the, the players and then ask me afterwards? Sure. Yeah, yeah. great. Thanks. What is it about this MAC tournament that seemed to bring out the best in Penn State and year after year, no matter what seeds you guys are coming into this one? Um, I think the is what our program is about, like how we prepare, like. We we knew like we know we had struggles all year like the season's gonna be up and down you get you can never count like how well it's gonna be but we prepared for March like that's all we got and I think this guy mentioned it yesterday like uh, we had a couple injuries and we struggled during the year but we knew if we can make it here like all you gotta do is win three you know and like uh, stay together and that's what we've been doing so far. Any other questions? Yeah, questions? When, uh, when you, like, what yesterday you couldn't hit a three, which basically saved your life, and then today you're making a whole bunch of them. What's that like for a shooter's mentality? Um, as a shooter, you don't think about it too much. It's always a next shot mentality, so I'm just shooting the shots I know I can make, and they eventually drop. Any additional questions for our student athletes before we dismiss them? Was yeah. there a certain moment during the game when you saw the press yesterday where I had someone say more old school three hit ball today was more guard driven. Was there a certain point even early in the first half where you guys saw like if they're getting to you gonna take it and then of course you guys heard Jason make it. Was there a certain point where you guys just like noticed that? Uh I mean I, I feel like early on, um, you know, when they went to zone, uh we started getting like more open shots and uh we knew, you know, they were gonna be worried about Vaughn. <laughs> like Vaughn had a monster game yesterday. So we knew like if we keep playing through him and like teams has to decide they're gonna double team him or let him play one on one and us as shooters and guards we just gotta be ready to shoot. I think everyone's gonna look at the eleven combined threes, but you guys both had you know, I think six assists, five assists. Um, knowing that you can shoot it but also you're gonna get it back, trusting your teammates, how has that kind of helped you guys out throughout the season? Uh Ask that again. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what I'm saying is, you guys got the shots going, but you also were getting your teammates involved. So the trust oh, in your right. teammates and how that kind of propels you forward. I think that's why we're here. Ultimately, is the trust that we have in each other. We love playing with each other, and it's fun. So we gonna win. This one for uh, for the players. Uh, do you guys care who you play tomorrow night? Nope. <laughs> that's your answer. <laughs> Yeah. You're behind 40 minutes last night and 40 minutes tonight, and is it too much going like you mentioned your last time? Uh, that, is it something you guys talk about, or is this happening because you need to be out there? Uh, I mean, coach normally doesn't talk to me about that. You know, I'm just I always come ready to play. You know, as many minutes I have to, and uh, you know, if if I'm there, you know, he trusts me, and I I just gotta fight through it. If I'm tired, I'm gonna let him know. So, uh, you know. I don't think I'm going to get too tired right now <laughs> this tournament. There's no more questions for our student athletes. We'll dismiss them at this time. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> yep. Question for Coach. Hey, Rob, what is it about your, your team over the years that when you get to this tournament, it just seems the lights, the bright lights just don't seem to, to bother you guys no matter what seed you guys are coming into the tournament? Yeah, I mean, that that's the players and the staff and, and just uh, that's what Kent State's about. And 
You know, we've been fortunate. We've been playing. This is the third straight year uh, that we've been in the conference championship game. So uh, it's hard to do. It's hard to, to win a game in the conference tournament. Um, so for us to be playing again on Saturday night, um, I've been in this league for a long, long time as an assistant and a head coach. So I know how difficult it is. Um, just appreciative that, you know, these guys get the opportunity to, to play tomorrow night. Rob, what's it like for you to see Giovanni produce the way he's done the past two days after not being able to play in this tournament last year? Yeah, you know what, as a senior, the, the one thing, the only thing I told him before, I said it in front of the team, when we played at Toledo on Friday night, he passed up a number of shots that he needs to shoot. So the only thing I said to him was, you know what, in your last chance, you, you got you to gotta go out firing. And um, if, if he goes one for eight, we don't win tonight, maybe. But I'd rather him go one for eight than, than 0 for two. And um, I'm glad he's played the way he's capable of playing for himself and obviously for our team, because um, he's had two really, really good games for us here. And again, tomorrow, same mentality. Um, you know, go out swinging. You're a fifth year senior. That's why you came back here. Um, go go out swinging and and tonight again he he was fantastic. Coach Magnus only played ten minutes, almost eleven minutes tonight, but when he was on the court, he tenacity he played like yeah. he was helpful. Yeah, it's awesome, man. That. Yeah, well, Mag's a fre a redshirt freshman walk on. It's his birthday today too. So, um, you know, for him to be able to to contribute the way he's contributed, we were plus ten in his minutes. Um, you know, again, back to back games for him. Uh, that he's, you know, he's played major, major minutes for us. Uh, just happy for him and happy for our team. And you see how excited, like when he got, he got a traffic defensive rebound. Now he missed a layup he should have made. But when he got a traffic defensive rebound, the whole bench, the energy that it brought because he's, he's playing against Rashawn Agee, who's an all-conference player and the best offensive rebounder, one of them in the country. So uh, just happy for him and happy for his teammates. And, uh, you know what, his minutes are, have been huge. I mean, they've been huge. We are not playing here again tomorrow without uh, without his contributions. Coach, Coach you're uh, like Nettle and, and not only, you know, get offensive rebound, but put backs as yeah. well against the top rebounding team. Can yeah. you just expand on how big that was? Big. We just, we, we if, if, if we were able to stay about even on the glass, we thought we'd have a chance, and, and we did. We out-rebounded them. Uh, they had two more second chance points than us. Obviously, they scored more in the paint, but we shot the three, you know, at, at, at a ridiculous level. So, um, you know what? That 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 was a big part for us. We we wanted to make sure we kept the body on on a body as much as possible, and uh, we did a great job with that. You know, coach, it was such a mentally tough year for you guys. How were you able to get your guys ready? Like, can you just like talk about your team's mindset entering the tournament, despite all the odds kind of being stacked up against you guys as the eight seed? Yeah, I'd say the best thing for us, what happened was the fact that we played Toledo on Friday and, and we watched the film on Sunday. And we just felt like there were things we could do to win that game. And once you get into the tournament and you win a game, all of a sudden now you're hot and whatever happened ahead of time or beforehand, you know, that, that sort of gets erased. So, um, we, we did a great job, our players did a great job of, of staying focused and, and I think believing through watching the film on Sunday, like Toledo's an a unbelievable team uh, and they beat us twice, but if we could do X, Y, and Z, we'd be able to win that game and it worked. We held them to 59 points. Tonight we held these guys to 60 points. So if you defend, you'll have a chance to win and uh, we did it at an elite, elite level uh, yesterday, and we did it at a really high level again today. They shot under 40% from the field. Rob, did you have any appeal? Oh, sorry. Co Coach, uh, Penn State Athletics has historically done a great job of uh, really bringing the fans down here to uh, Northeast Ohio. Uh, how big is that for this game, and then tomorrow night, how big uh, will ha you know having that great fan base that really supports Penn State uh, here tomorrow night? Yeah, awesome. And you can spend the whole day here because our women are playing in the morning. You can go to wherever. I'm sure they got a couple bars that they want to go to uh, afterwards, and then you can come to see us tomorrow night. So it's awesome for, for our athletic department. Uh, it's awesome for our university, uh, the exposure that, that the two programs are, are bringing and the amount of alums that, you know, just as I walk around are, are proud to be uh, Kent State alums. 
uh, it's awesome and, and really happy to be a part of it. Thanks, Good. Sir. Yeah. Rob, did, did you have a clue how your team would play going into this thing? Mm, if I'm going to be honest, no. You know, like you just don't know. We've been up and down all year. And again, I, I would, would just say the Sunday when you watch the film against Toledo, and not to take anything away from Toledo, they were, they were fantastic. But when you watch the amount of, uh, of layups that we missed, free throws that we didn't make, um, and then the amount of turnovers that we had that led into layups in transition for them, you know, we, we felt confident, our staff did, like, hey, if we can finish on top of the rim, if we can take care of the basketball, keep them out of transition, and, and then we put Mike Bakelja in a, in a spot on the court. These are things that don't really matter where he could really impact all these drives. Like, if we could do that at a high level, we'll have a chance. And to our players' credit, they believed, like, they didn't come in here. You know, some teams come in and they just pack it up, ready for it to end. Uh, they come in here ready to play, and, and we had success. They scored 24 points in the first half. And we went into halftime thinking, okay, we, we can win if we keep doing this, and we did. And um, then once you get past that first one, you know, the belief elevates. And today we held another team to under 40%. So um, that's what our program's about. It's about defending and rebounding. And uh, we did it again today. I'll pose the same question I posed to them. Uh, they combined for 42, but they always, they also had the 11 assists, I think, or 11 assists between them, and I think that's – uh, 11 to 13 that you had tonight. Yeah. When they're scoring that much, but they're also creating that much, how important is that for your guys' success? Because, I mean, to do both is really difficult. Yeah. Got to have good guard play in March. Got to have good yeah. guard play all year. And you certainly have to have it in March. You got to take care of the ball, obviously making shots, and they, and they got to make the right plays. And tonight they did that at a really high level. And uh, that's why we're playing. You know, that's why we're still here. No, honestly, I didn't know we struggled against it yesterday. I, I thought we did a good job handling the press, but uh, maybe we did. We took care of it well enough today, you know, um, and and we were able to, you know, you got to make some free throws at the end. We made a, enough yesterday. We obviously didn't shoot it great today, but we made enough. And, and more importantly, we kept getting stops. So, um, you know, we play with two point guards on the court at all times with Gio and Jalen. So. Um, we should be good against pressure, and we were today. What's it take to win three in a row in this? I mean, you've done it three in three days. It's very difficult to do that. Yeah, I think it's just our kids' belief, and then we got to follow the game plan. Our coaches, our staff will do a great job, which, again, they did today. Uh, today it was the first scout was, was John. Uh, today's scout was Randall, and depending upon who we play, I'm not sure who has each scout, but we split those up, and we'll come up with a game plan. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can execute the game plan as best we can. And if we can do that, then we'll give ourselves a chance tomorrow. Both teams that, that are playing here next are great teams and, and uh, you know, really, really good teams So uh, that we haven't beaten. You know, they both ha have beat us twice this past year. So um, we're going to have to make sure we're really, really focused on what we need to do. And then, you, you know, the players got to make the plays. Cut it there. Thank you, sir. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys.